and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, by grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation, Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. God, who made the bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say, and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak, he makes vigor abound. 
Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. Sorry about that. Yeah. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice cries out, I answer, what shall I cry out? All flesh is grass, and all their glory like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. So then, the people is the grass. Though the grass withers and the flower wilts, the word of God stands forever. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem of good news, fear not to cry out and say to the cries of Judah, here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is the reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. The Lord our God comes with power. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Lord our God comes with power. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the people with equity. The Lord is Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then let all the trees of the forest rejoice. The Lord comes with power. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes. For he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the earth with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord our God comes with power. be with you. 
Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. She said to his disciples, what is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep, and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the 99 in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the 99 that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your Heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord. Greetings today present the theme of, of a shepherd, of a good shepherd. Lord God, Isaiah says, rules, and he rules like a shepherd who feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, leading the ewes with care. And Jesus describes himself as one going in search of the stray, even leaving 99 to find that lost sheep. And what rejoicing there is when that lost one is found. Well, the saint today certainly is an example of a good shepherd, Saint Ambrose, an early father of the church and one of the, what's called the four great Western doctors of the church. Saint Ambrose was born in Trier, which would be in Germany today, uh, studied in Rome, and uh, like his father, rose to prominence and became a governor with headquarters in Milan. And he had a reputation for being quite an orator. He studied uh, well and uh, he was a uh, very intellectual man. He was well, very well read in the classics and so on. He studied rhetoric. He uh, lived at a time uh, of the uh, Arian crisis already. There was the Council of Nicaea in 325 that settled the dispute, but still the error was prevalent. The error, of course, not seeing Jesus as divine, as the eternal word, the Son of God. and. Uh, the error persisted because it was seen as, a, you know, the sophisticated way of Christianity, fashionable. The bishop in Milan at the time, a man named Auxentius, was an Arian, and he had a rather notorious reputation for forcing his clergy to become Arian. Uh, when he died, there was a uh, meeting about, you know, who should succeed him. Matters were a little bit different then, but there were, you know, these two dual camps. Uh, excuse the redundancy. <laughs> the uh, Arian camp and the Nicene camp. And Ambrose attended the uh, uh, proceedings for nomination of bishop, and he was eventually selected. He, he was known to uh, hold personally to Nicene beliefs, but the opposition Arian saw him as a charitable man, especially in theological matters. So he was seen as a compromise candidate, and he was elected bishop. Well, against his wishes, he, uh, he hid. He didn't want to be a bishop. Or he wasn't even baptized. <laughs> he was a catechumen. So when he finally prevailed upon him, he was baptized, ordained a priest, and consecrated a bishop within eight days. And um, really served as a, an exemplary uh, bishop, sort of model for bishops today. 
He's especially known for uh, denouncing the emperor, Theodosius, who uh, ordered the uh, massacre of 7,000 uh, innocent persons in Thessalonica. There was, I think, a revolt of, of, a, of a Roman garrison there, and these were set upon at a stadium. They were enjoying some game, and they were put to the sword. Well. Ambrose denounced the emperor publicly when he came to Mass. He said, I dare not offer the Eucharistic sacrifice if you plan to be present. And he said, the emperor is in the church, not above the church. And uh, his uh, eventual excommunication had an impact, and the emperor repented. And Ambrose, very charitable, uh, continued to minister him throughout his life, preached the funeral at his, uh, preached the homily at his funeral, and remarked how there wasn't a day that went by where the emperor wasn't uh, repentant and grieved over his uh, previous actions. And so this is why the opening prayer in the Mass you know, alludes to the courage and wisdom is needed, for, especially for leaders in the church, so bishops today, uh, pastors and so on, must not be afraid, must not cower before those in authority. They are not above the church. They claim to be in the church, but in a number of cases, as we know, they are in, at complete odds with the church. We're not talking about 7,000 here. We're talking, you know, over the course of these many decades now, Millions of innocent lives here that have been snuffed out. And so it is uh, an act of the Good Shepherd not to uh, do so out of any meanness of spirit, but really as a charitable measure to help those who have gone astray like lost sheep. And try to bring them back to the fold. If it takes a uh, serious measure, publicly denouncing them and refusing them to communion. That's what the church teaches, what should be done. And so we have to pray, pray for our leaders that they will have the courage. There are some, thanks be to God, who, who have taken those steps. Uh, but they are ultimately, again, not uh, uh, to be seen as anything other than remedial. They're not vindictive measures. They're not meant to punish. They are meant to uh, help the erring, the one who has gone astray, to come back to the fold. Isn't that what Christ would do? And so, let's pray that St. Ambrose will be a guide. We have a St. Ambrose Parish in our diocese. I served there four years happily, about 20 years ago. And may you ask St. Ambrose to intercede uh, for our leaders today, that they will not cower before those in authority, but be faithful to their call, as St. Paul would tell Timothy, uh, refute error, call to obedience, and uh, you know, correct the, uh, admonish the sinner. So let us uh, endeavor to be faithful to the gospel, especially the gospel of life in our day, and to pray for our leaders that they do so as well. Today's Holy Mass in honor of St. Ambrose is being offered for repose of the soul of Pat Roach.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate the divine mysteries of the Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, you right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ambrose you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, who graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that it may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
we proclaim together. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nursed by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ, may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Ambrose, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family. You have summoned before you in your compassionate, merciful Father to gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, your kind admittance to your kingdom, where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil graciously. Grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously, Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, may you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, may you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, may you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and the soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lead us, who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose that, hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The fourth Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel. Chapel of Divine Mercy, which we offer for all in our country, especially our leaders, for all in our parish, all of our family members as well, for a conversion of poor sinners. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. You expire, Jesus, who the source of life, who is forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which goes forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. The blood and water, which goes forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Oh, blood and water, which goes forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 For atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Mercy on us and on the whole world. Mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us. On the whole world, eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, treasury and the most kindly upon us increase your mercy in us. Hey Faustina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.